Hello there, it's Sev from Motorhome Dealer Group and welcome to this short video guide on these three buttons here that you'll find typically in a Peugeot Boxer uh, of a late vintage. So a relatively young vehicle will tend to have some, some, not all of these buttons or it may have all three such as this case. So I'm going to explain what each of them do. So first of all, this one here is a off switch for the vehicle's lane warning system. So this vehicle, if you drift out of uh, the what it perceives to be the vehicle lane on a motorway or dual carriageway, it will audibly give you an alert. This button will disable that system. This button here is the downhill assist. Well, that's what it's called on a Fiat. In a Peugeot, I think it's just called hill assist. This is a downhill only assist and the way it works is essentially like a cruise control for going downhill. Now there's a threshold of speed in which this will actually work. That is from, I, I guess, zero but or one mile an hour to about 25 mile an hour. So you need to be below or within that range in order to, to, to get that to work. So you need to be below 25 mile an hour or, and above one mile an hour for this to work. So what you need to do if you wish to use this system is to obviously you're going to be approaching the hill you wish to um, to go down. And what you're going to need to do is to then slow the vehicle down below 25 miles per hour. Ensure you're in the correct gear to hold the speed you wish to traverse the hill down in. And then you press this button and the vehicle will then keep that speed held and it does so by operating your brakes and using the engine braking as well uh, to in order to keep that speed maintained. Now you may have to check your vehicle manual not all downhill assist vehicles will show your brake lights for you and if that's the case you may need to just keep a little bit of light pressure on the brake pedal um, as long as it doesn't obviously decrease your speed too much. Now you can modify the held speed once the system's activated um, by holding the brake pedal a bit and that will decelerate the vehicle and when you release it will hold that new speed and also a very gentle application of the vehicle's accelerator will increase the speed and it will again hold the new speed but remember if you do then exceed 25 miles per hour this system will disengage and that's it basically and of course pressing the button will again get you disengaged from the system once you've reached the bottom of the hill so to recap you decelerate to below 25 miles per hour ensure you're in the right gear to hold that speed you're then going to press this button to engage the system and then traverse the hill you can modify the speed with brake or accelerator inputs very gently and then when you're at the bottom of the hill and you wish to disable the system press this button to disengage or you can use the accelerator to accelerate beyond 25 miles per hour simple as that so that's that button there the downhill assist or hill assist button and this one here is intelligent traction control or traction control plus it goes under a variety of names but essentially what this does is transmit all the power away from the wheel that is slipping or losing traction and give it to the wheel that has traction. So in those instances where you are in a low traction, uh, on low traction terrain, such as a muddy field or icy patches or anything like that, enabling this will ensure that if you do end up with the with a drive wheel slipping and wheel spinning, this system will stop that wheel from getting any power if it encounters such a condition and transmit it to the good wheel, hopefully allowing you to continue moving forward under decent power and getting out of trouble. So those are these, those three buttons. So just to recap, this is the disable for your lane warning assist. This one is your downhill assist and this one is your traction control plus or some variety of names that they give them. Um, but that's basically what those buttons are. I'm Sev and thank you very much for watching.